In this video, we will try to understand how to find out the point of contradiction in case of overhanging beam. So it is a simply supported beam with overhang on both the sides as shown in the figure. So the problem statement is a beam of length 10 meter. So you can see 6 plus 2 plus 2 that is 10 meter has overhang of 2 meter on left and right leaving the span between the support of 6 meter. We have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram and we have to find out the point of contrafracture if any. So let us start with our calculation part. So first calculation will be of the beam reactions. So we have to find out the values of the beam reactions. Now before we find out the beam reactions, we have converted the uniformly distributed load into point load. So this is 12 kilonewton per meter acting for 2 meter length. So 12 into 2 and it will be acting at the center of this 2 meter length that is 1 meter. Similarly over here also this is 12 into 2 is the UDL which we have converted into the point load and it will be acting at the center of 2 meter length that is 1 meter. So, and this particular will be 10 into 6. Now, applying the conditions of equilibrium, summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces, they are considered as positive, whereas downward forces, they are considered as negative. So, RA and RB, the reaction at A and reaction at B, they are acting in the upward direction. So, they are positive. So, as you can see, they are acting in the upward direction. Whereas, this particular 10 into 6, this uniformly distributed load it is acting in the downward direction this 12 into 2 that is also acting in the downward direction so it is negative and this 12 into 2 that is also acting in the downward direction so that is negative so if you make the calculation then it is ra plus rb is equal to 108 kilo newton the another condition of equilibrium is summation of moment is equal to zero clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative so taking moments about point a so as you can see this reaction rb it will produce anti-clockwise moment about point a so it is negative and the perpendicular distance between b or rb and this a is 6 meter so it is minus rb into 6. now this 12 into 2 it will produce clockwise moment as indicated by this arrow and the distance will be 1 meter plus 6 meter that is 7 meter so that is indicated by this particular term and as it is clockwise it is positive whereas this 12 into 2 it will produce anti-clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance is 1 so it is 12 into 2 into 1 and as it is anti-clockwise it is negative so that is indicated by this particular term so if you make the calculation 324 transfer this minus rb into 6 term on the right hand side it will become positive so it is rb into 6 324 divided by 6 so it is 54 kilonewton so we can say that reaction at b is equal to 54 kilonewton now substitute this value in equation 1 so ra plus rb is equal to 108 so we can say that ra will be equal to 108 minus rb or ra will be equal to 108 minus 54 or ra is equal to 54 kilonewton so both the values are 54 kilo newton now the next step is we have to find out the shear force diagram. we have to draw the shear force diagram and we have to find out the various values of shear force so at point c there is no load that is acting so we can say that shear force at point c is zero just at the left of point a there is no other load that is acting uh, except 12 into 2 so it is minus 12 into 2 that is minus 24 kilo newton downward forces are negative and upward forces they are positive exactly at point a to this minus 24 there will be a upward acting reaction ra and reaction ra is 54 so minus 24 plus 54 that is 30 kilo newton just at the left of point b we have to take into consideration 10 into 6 so 30 minus 10 into 6 so it is minus 30 kilo newton but exactly at point b to this minus 30 we have to add the upward acting reaction of rb that is 54 so it is minus 30 plus 54 that is 24 kilo newton then just left of the point d it will be 24 which we are already there minus 12 into 2 that is 24 that is 0 and exactly at point d there is no other force that is acting so it is 0 kilo newton so we can say that the diagram will be something like this and now there is a point of zero shear so shear force diagram is changing its sign at this particular point so 
shear force at this section xx is zero and so we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this particular section xx so shear force at section xx will be equal to so what are the forces which are acting at the left hand side of section xx is this particular one 12 into 2 and as it is acting in the downward direction it is negative ra which is acting in the upward direction so it is positive then 10 into x minus 2 so this 10 into x minus 2 that is acting in the downward direction so if you solve this minus 12 into 2 that is 24 ra is 54 this is minus 10x and minus into minus that is plus so 10 into 2 that is 20 and if you solve then it will be x is equal to 5 meter from c so we can say that at x is equal to 5 meter from c the value of shear force is zero but bending moment will be maximum so let us calculate what will be the value of that particular bending moment so to find out the bending moment at the point of zero shear consider again all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this section xx so we'll start with ra ra will produce as you can see this ra will produce clockwise moment about this section so it is positive and the perpendicular distance is x minus 2 so ra into x minus 2 is our first term so that we have written over here then you can see this particular term minus 12 into 2 it will produce anti-clockwise moment as indicated by this arrow and the perpendicular distance will be 1 plus x minus 2 about the section xx so that we have indicated over here then the udl 10 kilonewton per meter acting over a length of x minus 2 so 10 into x minus 2 will be the udl load and it will be acting at the center of x minus 2 so that is x minus 2 upon 2 so it will also produce anti-clockwise moment about this section xx so minus 10 into x minus 2 is the load and perpendicular distance is x minus 2 upon 2 so we can say that value of ra is 54 value of x is 5 so if you substitute all these values then at place in the place of x it is 5 at x it is 5 minus 2 that is 3 x it is 5 so it is 5 minus 2 upon 2 that is 3 by 2 and so on so if you calculate those values then bending moment at this section xx which is maximum bending moment is 21 kilo newton meter now we have to find out the bending moment values and then we have to draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment at the end of this particular simply supported beam is always zero so bending moment at c will be zero bending moment at d will be zero so we'll start with point c bending moment at c is always zero bending moment at a consider all the forces acting on the left hand side of a so 12 into 2 and it will produce anti-clockwise moment so 12 into 2 multiply by perpendicular distance is 1 so that is minus 12 into 2 into 1 anti-clockwise moment is negative so it is minus 24 kilonewton meter bending moment at section xx already we have calculated it is 21 kilonewton meter then bending moment at point b consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of point b so start with this suppose we start with ra ra will produce clockwise moment about b and the perpendicular distance is 6 so it is ra into 6 this 12 into 2 it will produce anti-clockwise moment about point b and the perpendicular distance will be 1 meter plus 6 meter that is 7 meter then this 10 into 6 that will be again producing anti-clockwise moment and perpendicular distance will be half of 6 that is 3 so 10 into 6 into 3 so that is this particular value is the calculated value is minus 24 kilonewton meter and bending moment at d is equal to 0 so using these values we can easily draw the bending moment diagram so as you can see the bending moment diagram it changes the sign from negative to positive at this point as well as at this particular point so we have to find out two point of contrafracture so point of contrafracture is nothing but what the point where the bending moment diagram changes its sign so here the bending moment diagram is changing its sign so we'll consider any section yy at a distance y from the point c so bending moment at this section is zero now how to write down the equation for this so consider again all the forces which are acting on the 
left hand side of section yy so we'll start with this 12 into 2 so this will produce anti clockwise moment about section yy and the perpendicular distance is 1 plus this particular distance that is y minus 2 so minus 12 into 2 into 1 plus y minus 2 then ra will produce clockwise moment about this and the perpendicular distance is y minus 2 then this 10 kN acting for this particular very small length of y minus 2 so 10 into y minus 2 is the udl converted into point load acting at the center of y minus 2 so it is minus 10 and again it will also produce anti clockwise moment over here so we can say that this will produce anti clockwise moment and this small distance is nothing but y minus 2 upon 2 so force is 10 into y minus 2 and perpendicular distance is y minus 2 upon 2 so and as it is anti clockwise moment it is positive solving this equation so minus 12 into 2 that is minus 24 1 plus y minus 2 that is y minus 1 then ra is 54 minus 10 upon 2 that is 5 and y minus 2 into y minus 2 that is y minus 2 bracket square now multiply by this minus 24 inside the bracket so it is minus 24 into y minus minus will become plus 24 into 1 54 into y minus 54 into 2 that is minus 108 minus 5 as it is y minus 2 square is y square minus 4y plus 4 now minus 24y plus 54y that is 30y then minus 108 plus 24 that is minus 84 and now you can multiply by this minus 5 inside the bracket so it is minus 5 into y square that is minus 5y square minus 5 into minus 4y that is plus 20y and minus 5 into 4 that is minus 20 so 30y plus 20y that is 50y minus 84 minus 20 that is minus 104 and this is minus 5y square now transfer all this term on the left hand side so their sign will change so minus 5y square will become 5y square 50y will become minus 50y and minus 104 will become plus 104 and if we solve this quadratic equation then we'll get two values of y one is 2.95 and another one is 7.05 so we can say that this is the distance of 2.95 from c and this is 7.05 meter from c so in this way we can find out the point of counter fracture in case of simply supported beam having overhang on both the sides and carrying the uniformly distributed load over the central span as well as on the overhang thank you very much for watching